I have a patient that woke up in the morning with five fractures of her right shoulder. And a few months after that, she woke up in the morning and she, her tongue was one third black. Well, both times she went to the hospital and I was telling her, you gotta let them figure it out. It sounds like bone cancer to me regarding the fractures. And at the hospital, they're like, well, you just got beat up. And she's like, no, no, I live alone. My doors are locked. So that was a bit of a mystery. A couple other mysteries were really high LDL cholesterol. And she shouldn't, it shouldn't be that high. And the medical doctor was like, it's so confusing. I don't understand it. Why is your LDL so high? And why is your HDL cholesterol so low? Other symptoms that she had includes vertigo. So she's walking from her bed to the bathroom in the morning. She's got to turn like this and walk this way. If she stood like this, she would have really bad vertigo. Well, she also had word salad. She would talk funny multiple times over the next few months after the uh, initial bone fracture. So she finally had a seizure at work and that explains why she had these symptoms in the morning. Now the seizure was so bad, she's foaming at the mouth, she's on the floor at work and she's trying to take her shirt off and people are like, no, keep your shirt on. They get her in the ambulance and then she comes to in the ambulance. She's like, why am I here? And they said, you have a seat, you had a seizure. Okay, so that explains why she's waking up with these problems. So then she's trying to figure out, well, why am I having seizures? Well, I did a video that I put on YouTube and I said, LDL cholesterol goes up in the presence of an infection. She saw that video and she goes, oh, that explains why my LDL is up. And that explains a lot of my symptoms, including seizures. So she calls me up and she, and I said, okay, where's, you, where's your infection? If you have one, where is it? She said, right here, she got pain in her jaw and um, right near where the vertigo is. And she goes get a, to get a cone beam, which is a 3D CT scan of the jaw. And it comes out clean, like her jawbone is clean, but she's got a big cavity there. And her gums are receded and red and inflamed. So that infection there is a problem and it can cause severe neurological problems. And then the LDL cholesterol goes up in the presence of an infection. There's a ton of research in PubMed how LDL cholesterol is antiviral anti-parasitic, antibacterial. It eats up precancerous cells. It also binds to toxins that are emitted from bacteria. So LDL cholesterol is part of your immune system. So all chronic infections, including localized ones that might be very small in the mouth, all have a chronic underlying toxicity. So I gave her some supplements to get rid of the toxicity. And within three weeks, all of her dizziness is gone and her um, energy is up, her sleep is better, and we need a good dentist to fix up that infection in her mouth. Other symptoms of toxicity include the ability to smell or taste plastic just within her body. Also, her urine and her bowel movements smell really bad, and this is what she said, they smell like acidic chemical cleaner, maybe like a weed spray, something that's very caustic. So when you have these weird smells coming out of your body, that's toxicity, inside the body. If you have a puzzling healthcare problem, contact our office and maybe we can help you out.